<laughs> okay, game. As my professors always say, it's n And when you think they And hey, it's me, Leslie V, and welcome to the S <laughs> It's me, Leslie Wee, and welcome to the second episode of All About IS. Okay, so first of all, I just wanted to apologize because I know na <laughs> ang tagal ko na tong hindi na upload, and it is because this is my second time filming this video. If you're following me on my Instagram, I complained about this, and of course, medyo na wala ako ng gana, and ayon, but I'm filming it now. And ayon, I almost have no makeup right now because the makeup is the main culprit, the main reason why I'm filming this video the second time. So ayon, this video is on how to prepare yourself if you will be taking up the course International Studies. So of course, there are things that you should know or you should prepare before you take up this course in college in general, hindi lang sa IS. And another disclaimer na it doesn't mean na I'm saying these things is I'm already good at it. Because no, I ito yung mga bagay na goal ko for myself. And I think that even though I'm trying to get better at these things is you should know about it as well. Kasi hindi lang naman ako yung mag-grow. And of course, I'm happy that I got a lot of positive feedback with this series. Tatakot ako ng gawin to because IS is a very academic, it's a very scholarly program. I think that I'm not the smartest person at, but yun nga yung goal ng video na to eh, is to let people be aware of this course without to debunk the myth na international studies is very social course. So ayun, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first one, and I think that if this is applicable in college in general, is to enhance your reading skills. I really think that in college, in general to ha, you will read a lot. You prepare yourself to a bunch of readings. And I'm not saying na you should read your readings word per word, but rather know the strategy, know the different reading methods that works for you best. I suggest that you take notes so you can summarize what you understand. In case you forget something, you don't need to read the reading all over again or you do not need to read page per page para hanapin yung stuff na hinahanap mo talaga. And my notes, it helps me to form my essay. It helps me to outline my essay. Ayan. So second is to prepare yourself to have some research somehow connected sa first one, which your readings can be used as references. But researching helps to further strengthen your argument on your essays. Since, as I said, ISSL scholarly program, make sure that all of your works are cited properly because plagiarism is not tolerated, especially in college. Okay, so third is critical and analytical thinking. So based on the first video, if you have watched that already, international studies is interdisciplinary program. So with that, different concepts and theories are being discussed and analyzed in this program. And you should analyze things and situations from different perspectives. And when you think deeply, this is where you understand things. Another thing is this, and sometimes, maraming ang theories and maraming concepts, but sometimes this concept actually overlaps to each other. So, with enough critical thinking, you can actually form a good essay. Number four is be ready for essays. Believe it or not, <laughs> maraming ipapagawang essays sa international studies, and I don't know if this is in college in general, but in IS, you will be doing a lot of essays. That's why you need to take research you need, because your readings is not enough. Make sure that you have this curiosity. You have, you need to see on other perspectives aside from the perspective of the readings that you're reading. Marami talagang ipapagawang essay sa inyo kasi marami kayong reading. Since marami ipapagawang essay, you really need to read your readings. <laughs> research more about it. Think critically about it, and sometimes, actually more often, the topics being discussed on your other subjects can actually be used and applied to your other subjects. Nag-overlap talaga siya. 
As my professors always say, it's not about the length of your essay, but the substance of it. So next, there will be a lot of discussion. Because it's a bit scary sometimes to talk with people. Sometimes na intimidate because you know that there are a lot of people na mas magaling sa'yo and mas better sa'yo. But that's okay. Remember that it's okay to make mistakes. And speaking, you'll never be good at it if you're not doing it. Believe in yourself, but also remember to be open to the other arguments of your classmates of, or your professors. Even I myself, I do not see myself as a good speaker. That's why I try to speak and speak because it's only through speaking that I'll be good at speaking. You know what I mean? <laughs> remember, since you're in international studies or maybe in other course, it's very important to be diplomatic. Be open, uh, not because you have research about something is you're the smartest person you need to be open to the other people's ideas and malay mo yung idea ng ibang tao you'll learn from it and it will deepen your understanding of things number six know your learning style but do not depend too much on it yes knowing your learning style is good because you can use what method is the best for you when you're studying solo when you're studying individually what I mean by saying that don't depend too much on your learning style is because we have different professors and sometimes they teach differently and that's why you need to be flexible with your learning styles. Or sometimes your learning style is not applicable to a certain situation. For example, you always watch videos because it is through listening and seeing things that you actually learn. But what if puro readings yung binigyan ng prof mo and no videos at all? That will be a bit hard. That's why you need to learn on how to handle other learning styles. My point is know your strengths and weaknesses. You can use your strengths to work out on your weaknesses. My tip, <laughs> because I know that these things are actually easier said than done, but have an accountable person or people that will constantly remind of your goals and recognize that you're still growing. And some things really takes patience and time. And that's it guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I hope that you learned something. And if you have other points that you want to add, please comment down below because I promote discussion. Since IS tayo or mag IS ka or you're in college and you have another tip that you want to add, go comment down below because I want to learn from you as well. Ayan, please click thumbs up if you like this video. And share this to your friends na baka may matutunan sila, diba? Nalain nyo. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel if you... If, uh... <laughs> Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of me. And I hope that I'll see you on my next one. Spread love! Salam!